Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to give you guys a little homeschool room, homeschool space um, tour now that we're in our new home. I did one of these in our last house, but now that we're in a new place, I wanted to kind of show you guys how I organize our homeschooling supplies, our homeschooling curriculum and books, everything that we use on a day-to-day -day basis. So I have four kids that I'm homeschooling right now. My oldest is in grade four. My daughter is in grade two and then my next son is in grade one and then my next daughter i was gonna say my youngest daughter but i have a one-year-old too my youngest school age child is in junior kindergarten so i have four kids in school um we do not have a school room most of our school work is done either at the kitchen table or just sitting in our living room so we kind of do school work all over the place um but I do have some spaces where I keep all of our curriculum, all of our supplies, and try to kind of keep it organized. So I'm just gonna show you guys all of that today. So let's get started. So I know that my space is very unique. So we have our stairs here, and then under the stairs, um, we just have the perfect space to put um, these drawer units that I got at Ikea. And so this is where we keep like our everyday school supplies. So this. Um, first one here, this set of four, each of the kids has their own drawer, which is worked out just perfectly. So here in this top drawer, um, I will say I did not organize or like, yeah, like look through the drawers at all before opening them. So we'll see how neat my kids keep their drawers. I do often find random papers that they just stick in there. Here at the top is my oldest drawer. And so in their school bucket, I'm sorry, my lighting is pretty bad right here under the stairs, but he has his school binder. And then he also has a pencil case here. And then um, underneath that, he just has all of his school books. So they're just kind of all, um, stacked up there and then the other kids have the same thing so um, Charity has her headphones for when she does her teaching textbooks um, and then just all of her school books all the way down um, you can see some of them keep their drawers neater than others here is Zara's my junior kindergartner so she has her books her binder pencil case tracing books, just all that she is working on. So this works out so well that they just all have their own drawers. Here on this shelf, I have, um, oh goodness, so heavy. I have our looping basket. So in here I have our science book, um, geography, another science book, and then our history. And that's kind of how we do our um, looping subjects every day. And so that just sits right there, right on top of our shelving units. And then in here, um, this is kind of my drawer. So I have Zara's um, like little homemade flashcards, my homeschool planner where I have a lot of my day-to-day -day stuff. Um, and then just like my teacher's guides, like our spelling book, um, the teacher's first language lessons guide, and just lots of um, books that are mine so that's like my drawer there and then the next drawer just has a bunch of other stuff here so i've got flashcards bob books some of their pathway readers a couple of read aloud books that i want to get to soon and then this bucket just has a lot of our um glues tape scissors that kind of stuff then the bottom drawer here i'm like as i'm opening it i'm like what is in here again that's right okay we've got some more flashcards. we've got some counting fairs some math manipulatives this little shoe tying thing and then these um math wrap ups so that was the the three set of drawers here and then the smallest one has two and this one just kind of has some activities. Oh, who was playing with this last and didn't put the lid on? Okay, so just some extra um, little activities, mostly for my kindergartner. So that was in there. I have some alphabet stamps, um, some little tracing animal cards, some tie-ups, water wows, this little Tetris game. So just lots of like, I would say mostly um, kindergarten level activities that she can do during school time and then in this bottom drawer this one's kind of random I just have some extra stuff this is supposed to be in that one um, some little like sticker books here and then some stuff we haven't gotten into yet so some doodle pads just some extra folders and notebooks 
that I haven't started using. So just whenever we need those, um, those are in there. And then in this basket here, I keep meaning to paint this basket white so it goes with everything, but I haven't done it yet. But this is where we um, keep all of our library books. So um, that's how this looks under the stairs here. In our living room, I also just keep this morning basket and it just has a few of our like morning time um, and really all through the day I call it a morning basket, but it just has some other stuff that we do in the living room. So most of it's for Bible time. So here's our devotional book that Wesley has gotten a hold of um, a lot of times and ripped up. Um, I have our hymn book because we, we do hymns every morning with Bible time. And then we're also, we haven't started this book yet, but I'm going to be starting it soon. And it's just a book all about um, like Bible promises to go through every day. We're still, oh, this book is good, but we're still kind of slowly making our way through it called Making Brothers and Sisters Best Friends. We are working on um, our 24 family ways. And so um, during Bible time, we go over these family ways. So we do that during our Bible time. So there you go. It is mostly our morning basket. This is all like morning time stuff. And then this is the book that we're currently doing for Read Aloud. We're working through Alice in Wonderland. And so this book just stays just sitting by our couch um, in the living room. And so then just every day we pull out we pull this out and have like our little morning time together and then again um, in the afternoon when we do our read aloud. This bookshelf here we have had forever and um, this one is brand new. We just got this last week and I love this new bookcase. I really would love to get another one so that they match but not in the budget for now. But um, so up here I have just a lot of, um, this, these are a lot of the kids binders from past school years. Um, like I've showed you in a video before, I just keep a few of their papers and keep them in a binder. So like for instance, this is Elijah's kindergarten and grade one and grade two book and Charity's kindergarten and grade one book. And I just keep their old school supplies in those binders there. And then we just have a whole bunch of other books, um, kind of organized it by like little kids books, um, older kids books, chapter books, um, and then here we have a lot of our curriculum that we're not currently using. So like here's um, a geography book, first language lessons, science, math, history, math, DVDs, um, and then like some other mostly like my, like my homeschooling books as well as teach your child to read, um, this is my home, this is my school, and um, anyway, so that's kind of our last kind of school space. We basically have three spaces in the house where we have any of our homeschool uh, supplies. So that is how our homeschool space looks. Nothing fancy, nothing super duper amazing. Um, probably this video is more just encouragement to you guys if you don't have a homeschool room. It's all good, you don't need a homeschool room. Um, my kitchen, I'm not gonna turn this around right now and show you my kitchen because it's kind of a mess. We're in the middle of decorating for Christmas. But I was gonna just show you and say, I don't even have anything on the wall. Like I don't even have any um, posters or like a whiteboard or any of that stuff. And someday I would love to have a homeschool room, even if we don't do school in that room. Wesley's just waking up from his nap if you hear him. Um, even if we still do school at our kitchen table, I'd love to have a room where we have all of our supplies together but that's not how it is right now. And like I just showed you, our homeschool spaces where we store everything, very, very simple. Um, and that's okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you love this whole simplicity in homeschool. I really do like it. I love being minimal with our homeschool stuff and not having like an overwhelming amount of things all over the wall. And anyway, we keep it simple. Um, so subscribe to my channel if you want to see more homeschool videos from us coming up soon. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.